Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the WebEx Devices team. And today I'm super excited to show off a, a new feature that we've had in EFT for a little while now and uh, is getting ready to go generally available to all of our customers. And um, the feature is far end camera control for cloud registered devices. Um, it's been a feature that has uh, kind of an older feature. We've had it you know, on older systems for a long time, but it's kind of new to the cloud. And I'm really excited to kind of demo it for you today and show you how it's going to work. Um, a couple things that I want to uh, set up here for this is that um, for those of you who are familiar with our devices, you know that most of our devices have by default enabled the speaker track or speaker view, uh, best overview for devices like the boards and the desk pros. Um, just a little caveat to this feature is that uh, if those are enabled or they're on by default, this feature will not be available for far end camera control. And if you kind of think about it, the idea behind speaker track is to kind of automatically, you know, focus in on the people that you need or that uh, are talking at the time or best overview to frame up the person that's in front of the device. So if those features are on, far end camera control will be taken away because the system is handling that uh, framing for you. However, if you have a device and you have it set to default off or it is turned off manually, that's going to give the capability for uh, someone to be able to take control of that far end camera and be able to adjust it. And we're going to demo that here in just a second. One other caveat I want to mention is that this will not work in personal mode. So if you have a device that's in personal mode, it is not able to be uh, controlled by far end camera controls. Partially because of the devices, another thing is just kind of more of a security type aspect. If it's a personal device, the thought would be that um, you, know, you want to be able to kind of control that yourself. This is more of a room type feature that's going to be available. Okay, so to get started here, I'm going to set the stage a little bit for you. I've got two devices. I've got a, a RoomKit uh, Pro, and I've also got a WebEx board with uh, both with navigators attached to them, um, and they're in a call. So this will work in any WebEx meeting, cloud meeting. Uh, in this particular instance, I'm in a PMR. Um, so I just got two devices. It'll be pretty uh, straightforward and simple. Uh, I'm going to show you um, how you would be able to do this from a Touch 10 um, to be able to control that far end device um, or from a navigator. Um, and the method would be the same if you had multiple people in there. So when you bring up your list and you go to select a user, if that user has speaker track disabled, they're not in personal mode, and they're able to be far end camera controlled, the option will come up. Um, so you'll kind of see as I go through this, but um, it's going to be a little confusing because I do have on my display a couple different um, uh, video units and a couple different navigators. So I'll try to explain it as we go through, but um, let's go ahead and switch my view here. So. I'm over here, I'm going to say hi. This is actually the camera from my board, um, but you'll notice that this is what's being shown on the Codec Pro, uh, which is actually behind me. Um, so this is essentially um, showing that the board is, uh, this is what the board of that far end remote site would see. On the flip side, over here is the WebEx board, which is showing the camera from the Codec Pro. And I've got a little Precision 60 camera down there that's just kind of pointed up to another point in the office here. Uh, showing a DX and a, a room kit mini that I have uh, listed up above here. And uh, below each of the devices is the respective uh, navigator uh, that's assigned to it. So just for um, sake of uh, the demo purposes here, what I'm going to do is show you um, on this uh, uh, Codec Pro. So the idea here is that if I go here, and, and you'll notice that on both of my devices, I actually have speaker track turned off. Um, and I'll show you that a little uh, more as to why that's going to obviously matter here in a second. But if I click on my participant list, you'll see here that I have the Edge Pro, this, this room, and then the WebEx Edge board. Now when I click on this board, you'll notice that it's going to give me an extra uh, option here. In this particular instance, it's camera control. So if I click on that, and you're going to see up here in the upper right hand side, remember this is my actual um, feed from my board. Um, so I'm going to be controlling the device remotely. If you see over here on the left hand side, you'll probably you'll see my little uh, uh, picture and picture for self view come up because the camera will be removed. So I'm going to go ahead and remotely zoom in. And you'll notice here that uh, as I'm hitting the, the button zooming in, both the self view on that camera showing that the camera is being uh, adjusted, as well as the, uh, the, the far end here because I'm receiving that feed. So I am remotely controlling this camera and here I, it went away, I'm pulling back out remotely from this device. And this is uh, controlling the board from the Codec Pro. Now, obviously, if I go back over here and I show you that I have my uh, best overview, in this case for the board turned off, that's why I'm getting that option. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you from the other side. So if I take 
do my list here, you'll see that here I am, the Edge board, and I have the remote participant, the Edge Pro. If I click on it, um, I have the ability now to hit uh, control camera. Now, um, when I hit control camera, same thing. You're going to see now that uh, on this device, you'll see the self view come up. And then over here on my screen on the board, you're going to see it actually zoom in and zoom out. So I'm going to zoom in a little further. And then I'm going to zoom out. And obviously, I can still do my pan tilt zoom. So I can go up, I can go down, I can go left, right. So all of the same features and controls that I was going to have. I now have available on both devices remotely because they're cloud registered and they're not in uh, speaker track or uh, best overview. Now, as soon as I enable speaker track, the ability for me to be able to do this control goes away. So then when I click on my list and I hit, for example, in this case, the Edge Pro, what will happen is, is this control camera uh, option will disappear. It won't be available to me and I won't be able to control that camera. So super excited about this. Uh, I'm going to switch over here. And just uh, to kind of finalize here, talk about how we do have far in camera control that will be released, um, uh, should be this week, uh, on the next uh, software drop and feature release of Room OS for all stable devices. Uh, if you're on beta uh, and you're in the EFT, you've obviously had a chance to play with this. But uh, give it a spin. Tell us what you think. If you have any questions on it, definitely comment below, ask questions. Or uh, if you'd like to see any enhancements, let us know as well. But uh, very exciting feature, something that's been requested for a very long time, and uh, very excited to show it off to you today. If you got any more questions, let us know, and uh, if not, we'll see you next time.